How is it going guys and welcome to the Olufemi channel. We're a group of teachers that want to shore up your video production skills in as little time as possible. What's up guys? Welcome to today's tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create and animate split screens. Split screens are a great way to enhance your edit. It's great to use if you have multiple angles of the same clip or you want to showcase a different perspective. I'm going to show you multiple ways you can create split screens, some basic, some more complex and how you can animate them. So here we are in Premiere Pro. I've already gone ahead, taken two clips that I have and stacked them on top of each other in my timeline. So the first split screen we're gonna create is just directly down the middle. First thing we're gonna do is go over to the effects panel and I'm gonna type in crop. So I'll go ahead and drag crop onto both clips. Then I'm gonna highlight my top clip. Make sure my effects control panel is selected and I'm gonna adjust my positioning over to the left. So I want this top clip to be on the left side of my split screen. So I'll kind of eyeball it to where I think it will look good to split down the middle because you obviously want your framing to be right. And I'm gonna go down to my crop effect and on the right side, I'm gonna drag this out and you'll see this will start to crop the clip. Go ahead down to about 20% and that looks pretty much directly down the middle. So that looks pretty good, but in most cases, the clip below it will not be framed properly. So an easy fix for that is to just go over, highlight your bottom clip, and adjust your positioning to a framing that you like. So already this looks solid to me. Now we can take it a step further and enhance this line in the middle here where the clips are split up. So to do that, we can go over to our bar here and select the rectangle tool. And we'll go ahead and zoom out just a little bit. And I'm gonna go ahead and draw a line down the middle. And obviously this is a little bit thick. Uh, so I'll go into my central graphics tool and I'm actually gonna change, uncheck the stroke and check the fill line. And you can go in and select whatever color you want for this. You can do black or you can change it to white. And that is gonna create that distinct line. So this looks cool, but a way to make it look cooler and to add even more movement is to animate the split screen. I'm gonna go into my keyframes and I'm gonna place a keyframe for position. And I'm gonna select the bottom clip and do the same, as well as the graphic at the top here. So if I click through each, there's a keyframe for the final placement. So I'm gonna go to the beginning of my timeline or basically any point where you want your animation to start. I'm gonna quickly turn off the viewing on these two top clips. And I'm gonna change the position back to where it originally is framed. So it's filling out the whole frame. And then you'll see it starts to move to where that final position is. But in that same motion, we'll want this left clip to come in. So I'm gonna highlight that top clip do the same thing and position it out of frame. And now you'll see that it smoothly transitions. There's no black space behind it and the clips form into the split screen. So we'll go ahead and do the same thing for our line. So we'll select our line up here because as you can see, it does not look good just in the middle of the screen. And then I'll go to the front of my timeline position it just out of frame. And now that should look pretty good. Obviously, if you wanna speed this up, you can adjust your keyframes, bring them closer together. Another thing you can do to make it a little bit smoother is highlight your keyframes, right click, and select ease in. And that's a little bit smoother and we'll have to do the same for our animated line. And so you'll see there's a little bit of a difference there, but that looks pretty good. So that's our basic split screen, but let's say we wanna make something a little bit more advanced. So I'm gonna show you how to make a split screen with three different clips, which I already have stacked on top of each other here. So for this, I'm gonna go ahead and start by repositioning this top clip. 
because I want this to be on the left. I'll go ahead and quickly apply the crop effect to all these three clips again because we'll most likely be using that. I'm going to go ahead and crop this top clip on the left because I want that to basically take up the whole right of the frame. I'm going to go ahead to my middle clip here and resize it, adjust the scale and positioning to right about there. And I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing for this top clip. So these are all three different workout scenes that I want to play. So now we have this and we can go ahead and do the same thing with our rectangle tool. So we can draw a line down the center and separating these two clips on the left. So now we have three clips that are playing within the same screen and you can basically take the animation that we did in the previous clip and do the same thing to animate this split screen as well. Another quick tip, if you want to make sure your stuff is centered, uh, you can go over to this little tool icon and select safe margins. And that will bring up these little lines that you see here. So if you really want something that's completely centered, either vertically or horizontally, you can line them up with these little dashes here. And we are on to another split screen that you can do. Now let's say you wanna make something a little bit more funky. I don't know the word that, <laughs> that I should be using for this, but if you wanna make something that doesn't have like perfectly straight lines, something a little bit more unique, you can play around with masking. So I'm gonna take these two clips that I have here and create something that has a little bit more of an edge to it. So I'm gonna take my first clip and reposition it slightly to the left. And I'm gonna go ahead over to my opacity in my effects controls, select the pen tool, and I'm gonna draw just kind of a sharp line here and connect the lines here with my pen tool. And what that's doing is creating a mask. The lines look a little bit blurry. That's because the mask will automatically feather. So I'm gonna turn off that feather here in my effects controls. And I'm gonna highlight my bottom clip and just reposition it maybe a little bit towards the right. So we get something like that. Now, once again, if we want to create a line over these two clips, I'm gonna go ahead and instead of clicking my rectangle tool, I'm gonna highlight my pen tool and I'm just gonna go into these lines and as best as I can, select these edge points here. You'll see that it creates this shape but we want it to just be lined, so we'll go into our essential graphics tool, deselect fill, and select stroke instead. And you'll be able to kind of play around with this tab here to make that as thick as you would like. So that's creating something a little bit more funky that could be cool. And you can do this with multiple clips, so you can go in and add another clip below and draw another line and add a clip down here, reposition it, crop it, mask it. Uh, so there's many different ways, but this, these are kind of just like the foundational things that you can do. I know we're talking about split screens, but I wanna quickly pause and let you guys know that we have a product video course that is out now. If you're interested in editing, in shooting, in anything regarding products, I've created a product video course that runs through all the foundational stuff of shooting products from lighting to shooting to editing. So feel free to check out the course linked in the description. It's productvideoschool.com. And the last thing that I'm gonna show you is also a very quick way you can create a more unique split screen. And that's by going into your effects panel, typing in radial wipe and applying that to your top clip. I'm gonna go ahead and put my transition completion to 50. And then I'm actually gonna change my start angle. So I'm gonna make this kind of more on a diagonal and you can obviously tweak this however you like. And then I'm gonna change the wipe center to this edge here so that it's framed up so it's not cutting off the main action of the clip. And I'm gonna actually just go in, do some repositioning, a little bit of scaling so nothing's cut off. So we kind of get that cool slice across the screen. And then I'll actually go ahead and reposition my bottom clip. 
scaling in a little bit and then we get something like that and then you can also keyframe this radial wipe to add more movement and once again you can go ahead and select your pen tool and draw a line across and so you end up with something like this so these are just some foundational ones. Split screening is cool because there's no direct formula that you need to follow. You can create it however you like in different shapes, different sizes. You can use as many clips as you like, however you see fit for your edit. I hope you guys like this one. Make sure you're subscribed to the Olufemi channel and I will see you guys in the next video.